Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to determine the best budget for your campaign. Now, there's really two ways to go about doing this. The first one is actually in the Keyword Planner inside Google Ads, and the second one is with a plugin called Keywords Everywhere. I prefer Keywords Everywhere, but it is a small fee. Uh, it's not completely free like the Keyword Planner, but I'm going to show you both options and you can pick whichever one you like. They're both very accurate. I find the actual Keywords Everywhere plugin slightly more accurate, but the uh, Google Ads Keyword Planner is very very good as well uh, at least in terms of coming up with a budget so let's get started how do we get determine our best budget for our campaign we come over here to tools and settings we're gonna hit keyword planner and for this I'm going to target Hamilton plumbing services Hamilton's a city near us uh, I like to geo uh, modify all of the actual keywords so if you're in a city like New York, I would say New York plumbing services or New York HVAC services, pool installation, whatever it is, uh, just because I really want to get specific on the area we're, we're going to be targeting. If this is like statewide or province wide, uh, it doesn't matter as much, but I would go into detail uh, like plumbing services or HVAC services, and then I would geo modify it with the actual uh, geo modification here. Uh, right now, I'm going to just type in Hamilton to make sure we're only targeting Hamilton, Ontario. And this is because we don't want to pop up for Hamilton Plumbing Services in New York City. It really doesn't make any sense, right? And we want an accurate uh, determination of what the actual cost per click is going to be inside Hamilton with a uh, keyword like Hamilton Plumbing Services. So we're going to hit save. This is now geo modified to Hamilton, Ontario. And we're going to type in Hamilton Plumbing Services. And we're gonna hit enter. And then we're gonna hit get results and we're gonna scroll down. Okay, so now we can see top of page bid range low and top of page bid range high range. Uh, what I like to do for this is I like to find generally either the highest uh, page bid range and then actually divide those two. So if you scroll down here, we can see everything's right around the same 30 to 40 bucks ish or 38 bucks ish. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd add these two up. So you're gonna get 11 plus 38 so let's do just 10 plus 40 that's 50 you're gonna get it right around 25 dollars and then what i would do is i multiply that by five because we want at least five clicks in the campaign if we're going to assume we're going to have right around a 20 percent conversion rate so then we have right around 125 dollars a day for our daily budget now i like to su suggest most campaigns run monday to friday so we're going to multiply that out by five so i'm going to get my calculator here uh, because I'm not awesome with math, but <laughs> I'm okay with it. So we're going to go with uh, 25 times 5 to get our daily budget. That's to, assuming we have a 25% conversion rate. This is our daily budget, so $125 a day. We're going to multiply that by 5 to get our budget for the week. That's 625 a week. And then we're going to multiply that by 4 to get our monthly budget of $2,500. Now, not every month is exactly 31 days. Uh, you know, February is 28. So... This number isn't going to be exact, and depending on where the actual days fall in the actual week, because Monday to Friday actually moves when it comes uh, to the actual numbers in the month, it's not always going to be perfectly 2500 but it'll be right around there, and sometimes you might have to pay a bit extra every month and a, a little lower every month, depending on... Uh, uh, where the dates align. So this is how I would go about finding the monthly budget with the keyword planner. I think this is a pretty good way of doing it. I find that it sometimes overshoots uh, more often than not. Does it overshoot by a lot? Not really. Uh, it's probably like an extra couple hundred bucks, but generally I suggest going with more than less just so you can actually uh, get some leads coming in. And it's always nice to have a little bit extra budget uh, for your campaign just to experiment with and actually come up with new keywords and test things and actually really get your campaign started. But the other way is to actually use a plugin called Keywords Everywhere. And now I've actually have this installed on my computer or on my actual Chrome uh, browser. And all you have to do is you turn it on. I think it's like five bucks for a uh, hundred thousand credits or whatever it is. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. And I've done this hundreds of times and I've burned through 3,000 credits. As you can see, I have 95, 97,000 credits left. So it, it's very, very cheap. It's like five bucks for like 100,000 credits. Uh, but I've typed Hamilton Plumbing Services over, in over here. And as you can see, the cost per click is right around $21. And this is pretty similar to our uh, original assessment with the keyword planner. I think ours was originally 25 bucks. But what I would do is I'd come down here to our calculator. I do the exact same thing. I would type in 21 bucks 
times five to get our daily budget. That's 105 bucks times that out by five if we're running Monday to Friday. If we're running Monday to Sunday, I would do times seven because we're running seven days a week, right? But I generally recommend running Monday to Friday. We generally see the best results with that. Uh, we're going to hit click. This is our weekly budget. So we're going to get 525 a week and then we're going to multiply that out by four and we have right around 2100 bucks. Now, this would be our monthly budget. As I said, the keyword planner tends to overshoot a little bit. In this case, it sh overshot by about 400 bucks, but it's not a massive difference. Uh, I do like being more specific when I you know, come up with a budget for clients. That's why we use the keyword everywhere planner or <laughs> keywords everywhere plugin. Um, it's very, very good. It's very accurate. I've never been uh, super off with it. I find it's the most accurate way of going about it. But it is important, always uh, geo-modify your actual service or product you're offering, just because it gives you a better estimation of that area when you use this um, plugin. And I find it has the best results for giving you a good estimation. That being said, that's how to determine your monthly budget and the best budget for your campaign. If you're doing this, this means you're going to get, you know, five clicks a day. You're going to get at least one conversion. You're going to get, you know, 20 ish conversions a month. That's going to give Google enough data to optimize and your campaign should be doing really, really well. If you go below this, chances are Google's not going to be get enough data to optimize and you're going to be struggling and really Google ads isn't going to work out well for you. So I would suggest uh, this has a minimum budget. I like to even go a little bit more just to give us an extra little bit of leeway to really make sure the campaign starts off well and clients are happy with it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.